what should be the 75 day preparation plan for for cat and so uh, it's not like a magical landmark and 75 makes a big difference but it's a, it's a good thing because you're, you're, we are definitely in the last lap i'm going to break this into two parts uh, if you already have all your fundas in place and you feel like look i'm there i'm there there about for 91 92 i need to amp it up spend tons of time almost exclusively or aggressively on mocks you take mocks analyze them you need to know what your strengths and weaknesses are how you will amplify and make your question selection better how you're going to make the feel good better how are you going to get energy adrenaline coming through the finer details fine point that is super crucial so if you, if you have your fundas in place and you're uh, gearing for the last round then mocks 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 to death that is one crucial part second part revise revise with the idea where you find you take a mock and it tells you a gap identify that gap and then go and fill that gap so that you push it up for it to become fresh during your mock. You have to plant the idea and say, hey, I missed this. If I see a triangle and a line parallel to one side, I need to think similar triangles. How can I not think similar triangles? You need to plant that idea. So do that very aggressively. That comes from revisiting ideas, revisiting, revisiting fundamentals. So that needs to come into the picture. Do not take your eyes off reading. Keep reading every single day. That pays off dividends any which way. Keep that in mind. Suppose you're not uh, done tons of preparation. You're uh, you know, you're not sure of where you're headed, and that is that is that, that this applies to a majority of people. What should your preparation strategy be? Definitely take mocks. Definitely take mocks. We are too late in the journey to say, hey, I'm going to cover the syllabus. I'm going to get the good handle on quant, uh, good fundas and everything. Prepare really well. Be comfortable with the syllabus, and then take mock. By this time, somewhere along the line, you will say, uh, CAT 22 to 2022. I think that will work. So take mocks. You need to be very choosy in which battles you choose to fight. Picking the battle is super important. So suppose you say, look, I'm quant is vast. I'm never going to get my handle on counting, permutation, probability. Chuck it. I simply don't get exponents. You put some number, then you put a superscript. My brain becomes warped. Chuck it. So the trigonometry, I see sine or cosine. My brain doesn't work. Chuck it. So pick simpler topics. If you're saying, look, I need to have a handle on quant just to arithmetic. That's 50% of the question and a root to 92 percentile. Get that in the bag. For LRDI, the fancier, geekier parts, ignore them. Learn a couple of narrower set of practice things. Build variety from a solid base. You remember, keep this in mind, in a two-hour in a two-hour exam, in a 40-minute format, you do one puzzle, you're flirting with 90th percentile. If you get everything right, six-question puzzle. You do two, four plus four, you're flirting with 94, 95, probably more, 98. You get eight questions right, you're flirting with 98 percentile. That's brilliant. So limit stuff. For VRC, keep reading. So your strategy for quant should be to limit the topics, make it simple, work from there. For VRC, read, don't worry with anything else. You just need to know question template, nothing else is required. Anchor around mocks. Do not, I repeat, do not delay mock taking. To get the hang of what these mocks are, it takes four or five mocks. To know what your strategy is, it takes four or five mocks. To, to, to revisit the strategy, firm it up, get comfortable with it, it takes four or five mocks. You do the math. You need 14 to 15 mocks just to say, hey, I'm ready. You can't take mocks every day. If you take two mocks a day, you have well, two mocks per week. Sorry, two mocks a day will be horrendous. Two mocks per week, you have just enough. You, you with, with some slack the last two weeks thrown away you have just enough time to cover 15 16 mocks so you're already on a treadmill don't delay mock taking your entire preparation has to be around mock take a mock see where your gaps are see what is telling you revisit some funda do some practice take your next mock the one absolutely cast is cast in stone non-negotiable part of your preparation is mocks this applies for people who already prepared and on a reasonable ground those who are starting if you're already prepared, then that is automatic. You know mocks are the game. Those who are still not sure, sometimes when you're not sure, we keep delaying the mock taking. Do not do that. Mocks make a huge difference. From here on in, the ball game is mocks. If you do nothing else but 12 mocks, you have a decent chance of getting 91, 92 percentile if you know your game. So definitely focus on mocks. Best wishes for camp.